now it's time for RTB 101. This is the segment where we talk about practical questions to help equip you to share your faith with friends and family more effectively. And I'm here once again with my colleague and biochemist, Dr. Fazrana. Welcome. Krista. So I want to talk about a very common question. Yeah. You know, I was just reading an internet article the other day about this very thing. It comes up a lot, and that yeah. is Neanderthals. And help us kind of begin to make sense of how to think about these very mysterious creatures from a Christian worldview standpoint. Yeah, well, from an evolutionary standpoint, people will view Neanderthals as uh, part of this evolutionary sequence, this evolutionary ascent of man. Uh, but as a, a Christian and a creationist, I would look at Neanderthals as creatures that God created that existed for a period of time and went extinct, that they had intelligence and emotional capability, but they lacked a very important quality, the image of God. And so I would argue that Neanderthals would be biologically different from us because they would be a separate species, but more importantly, behaviorally different from us because they lack the image of God. I would think of them the same way that I think about the great apes, orangutans, okay. chimpanzees, gorillas. So created by God, mm -hmm not part of the evolutionary tree, just a separate species. That's right. Okay, now give us a little bit more of the crash course here on who Neanderthals were, like when did they live, where right. did they live, that sort of thing. Yeah, Neanderthals lived uh, basically in the Middle East, Europe, and in Asia, uh, somewhere between 200 and 250,000 years ago to about uh, 50,000, 40,000 years ago when they went extinct. So there would have been a short period of time when humans and Neanderthals would have existed together on Earth. And when humans made their way into Europe, we probably would have encountered Neanderthals uh, as part of that uh, migration into Europe from out of the Middle East. Okay, so even though in my science textbooks, they often look very human-like, our position here at Reasons to Believe is that they are not descendants of Adam and Eve, right. rather they are their own separate species. Is that yeah, right? Yes, and though they, they look human-like, there's a lot of biological differences between humans and Neanderthals, so much so that just simply on the anatomy alone, they clearly are a different species. Now recently you had a blog post about the question whether Neanderthals create art. Yeah. Now I've heard you talk before that art is something that only humans can do, yeah. descendants of Adam and Eve. It's yeah. part of being created in the image of God. So how do I think about these news stories that I hear yeah. that Neanderthals created art? Yeah, and, and those stories are all over the place, and that's a claim that some anthropologists are making. Uh, but when you look at the brain of Neanderthals, there's no way, based on their brain structure, that they could have made art. Uh, they have a, a, an underdeveloped parietal cortex, and that's part of the brain that's involved in language processing, math processing, but also in hand-eye coordination. And so they wouldn't have had the capability of producing the elegant art that you see on the cave walls. They just simply didn't have an artistic brain. So help me think about how I'm going to talk about this with my unsaved friends. You know, in the topic of Neanderthals comes up, I know the first thing I'm not going to do, I'm not going to panic. Yeah. So what, what should I do? How, how can I talk to them about this? Well, I think the point you want to make is that Neanderthals really are different from human beings. And what makes us different is that we bear this capacity to make art, which is a, a manifestation of the image of God. And that idea is so foundational to the gospel itself. It's because we bear God's image, we have infinite worth and value as human beings. And because we bear God's image, we can enter into a relationship with our creator. And because we bear God's image, Christ died on the cross for us. Very good. So this, there's kind of even a little bridge I could see of when a next, the next Neanderthal thing comes out in the news. Maybe I can use that as a way to talk to my unsafe friends about the differences between my worldview as a Christian and, and what yeah. they're thinking. Yeah, that's right. Very good. Okay, I wanna encourage all of you to check out Fuzz's blog. It's called The Cell's Design, and you can look for this particular article about whether or not Neanderthals created art, and there's some good links there to further research and details if you want that.